All right, man, we're out here with X4. Explosive. Um, your name been coming up a lot in the uh, raps, rap scene, man. Yeah. Well, let's go back to uh, how long you've been rapping, man, and what got you into it? Uh, I've been rapping since like, well, I've been like taking it serious for like a year since I got out of prison. But I've been rapping since like 2017, 16, like just putting songs on SoundCloud type shit. Okay, and when did you realize that maybe you got something else that other MCs don't got? Uh, Somebody must have told you. Yeah, you everybody kept telling me, <laughs> yeah. You, you remember? Cannon Buzz. You remember what song you dropped on SoundCloud that really uh, caught on? Uh, Tiny Loke Music. When would you drop that? Like 2017. Okay. Now you said you had, you went to jail after that? Yeah. Using I went to jail before that too, shit. Oh. Went to jail before that, after that. Again and again, I was always in jail. Okay. So let's let's go back a little bit earlier, man. Um, where'd you grow up? Shit, right here in the 40s. 42nd and Menlo, 41st Fig. Okay. All through the 40s. So you kind of like in between the, the dark and the park side? Exactly. Okay. Uh, uh, dark park issue. Park. Is it dark park thing? Park that thing. Park. <laughs> All right. And um, how old was you when you decided that was something you wanted to be a part of? Shit. Forever. My whole family from the, my brothers and shit from the hood. So shit, since forever. I got pictures. I'm like three four throwing up the hood. So shit, I always knew. How old your your oldest brother? Uh, Tiny pussy, like uh, 33. Okay. And um, did he have anything to say when, when he realized you was, you was about to be from it too? Well, he, he, he tried to prevent it, but he already like knew. Yeah. So, but I, I snuck when he, when, he got, when he went to jail. He went to jail, I snuck, he got put. And then when he came home, what did he, uh, what did he say? He been in jail ever since. He been in jail since like 2012. Damn. Okay. Uh, so he already knows the deal now? Yeah, he already know. Okay. What about your, uh, who raised you? Which parent raised you? Uh, my granny. Your granny? Okay. Yeah. So that's something that granny can't stop that. Yeah. <laughs> granny already knew too. Yeah, she knew? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, how many brothers and sisters did you grow up with? Uh, well, I got four brothers. But I grew up with my little brother. Okay. So you and your little brother with Granny? Mm hmm Me and my little brother okay. on the hood okay. with Granny. And uh, where was mom and dad at during this time? Mom was around, but she was in the streets for her. And mama stayed in the ops. She stayed in the Uchis on the hood. We're not going to diss, but I know it's hard not to diss, but yeah. you know. My mom, my, yeah, my mom was like in the streets, though. OK. Yeah. Let's, let's, I'm gonna ask it again. You don't gotta say it. Here. If you don't wanna say it. Oh, you don't like saying that, okay? Well, no, when I edit the stuff, put it out, then they gonna be like, man, Alex, why you let the little homie diss the hood, you know? So, all right, all right so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask it again. <laughs> That's bunk, bro. Hey. Ain't gonna be to nice it up. No, we ain't trying to nice it up, but mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I, want, yeah. I want better things for you, too, because when you, you about to, somebody gonna sign I got HK on my face. They already know what time it is. They gonna never be like, I'll never be cool with them niggas, never do no song with them niggas. So I don't need their help. I don't need their resources or nothing. So, okay. I don't really care about saying Uchi. Okay. Uh, so, so, so when did you realize your mom was from over there? Uh, shit, I've been new shit forever since I was young. Okay. Yeah. What's your relationship with your mom like now? It's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The gang shit don't get in between. Yeah, that's mom. my mom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so what was, it, uh, what was it like the first time you went to jail? You went to juvenile? Yeah, I went to juvenile hall when I was like, uh, 13 years old. First of all, a little bullshit, a little bullshit robbery. Los Padrinos or? Uh, Silmore. On gang, did like four months. Four months, got out on probation. Okay. On the hood. And you was already from Fodies at that time? Yeah, I was already from the hood. Okay. So I was already in there squabbling shit on the hood. Got right to it. What's it like in there? Is it everybody from somewhere in there? Nah, some squares in there. You got some regular niggas in there. Yeah. You know, you got some gang bangers. There's all, all type of people in there. And is it is it hard for the administration to stop people from squabbling? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's gonna happen regardless. It's impossible, huh? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, uh, two niggas from opposite hoods, that's gonna happen. But it's not like they let it happen, right? They still get in there and stop. You know, yeah, you know, they prevent it. OC Warner, they spray, do that little bullshit pepper spray. That shit, <laughs> little bullshit pepper spray, that shit don't mean nothing. Do they throw the spray on you when you, when, you when you fail to stop or they spray you regardless? Well, they tell you stop. They yell it like three times, couple times, OC Warner, shaking the can, OC Warner, OC Warner. You keep going, then they spray you on the dead homies. Oh, man. Crip. And then once, once they spray you, it's a wrap? Yeah, once they shit, it's up to you. If you can manage to do the spray shit, you're gonna keep going. But shit, that shit, that shit burned though, so you're gonna stop. Okay, so it burned the eye, not the skins, right? That, that shit burned, whatever it touched. Oh, okay. All right, so you get out of that, you come back to, you come back to the hood, and, and what's life like for you? Regular, shit, regular. 
regular shit, back to it, back to the regular shit, everyday lifestyle. Growing up in the 40s. Now I'm assuming since your mom and your dad wasn't there um, to raise you and your granny was, yeah. you probably had some challenges along the way coming up. Challenges as far as what? Not having your mom and dad there. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was she was like she was like there, but like wasn't there type shit. Like I always like, she lived like right on 39th in Wisconsin. On the hood, my granny stayed on 47th and Fig. On the hood, then she moved to the Hoochies, on the dead homies. So like I always knew where she was at, but she was just like, yeah, I was just with my granny because I wanted to go to schools where my granny stayed in the hood. My little brother, he stayed with my mom though. My little brother, he went to uh, middle schools and shit over there. Okay. Now then you you went to jail as an adult, huh? Yeah, I went to jail as a juvenile, adult. I saw I saw some surveillance footage that they tried to say that was supposed to be you. Did, was that footage ever used against you in a case? Yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, how much time did they end up giving you for that? Uh, I did uh, four years, but they gave me six. Well, thank goodness nobody died in that case. Uh, oh, 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 that one. I thought you were talking about, oh, I got, I got all type of cases. I'm thinking you're talking about a whole other footage. Oh, there's no <laughs> I'm thinking you're talking about a whole other footage. I, no, the, the footage I saw. Oh, the dead homies. <laughs> the footage I saw was uh, coming from the front yard <laughs> into the street. Oh. Uh, and somebody was popping. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, so, um, yeah. you, you and I'm thinking you're talking about a little robbery case. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, yeah little bullshit, yeah. Little bullshit footage they use against me. So you got six years for a robbery? Yeah. Oh, uh, six years, six with 85. I did four, COVID and all that shit came. Oh, so this, you, you, you went pre-COVID and then COVID came? Yeah, COVID came, knocked the gang of time down, all that type of shit. Oh, hood, I got up out of there, four years. Oh, okay. Talk about what, what it was like to be in prison during during the pandemic when that COVID hit. Oh, uh, shit, it was bullshit, lockdown. Damn, homies bunk. But shit, it was spotty though. Got a lot of time locked off. Okay. It was hood though. And that was your first time in the penitentiary? Yeah, during COVID too, I was in the cell. My, uh, I was in the cell with uh, Petey White, 60s. Oh, uh, oh was in California Wack. or they shipped you to another nah, state? Nah, in California, okay. in Solidad. Um, damn, I was with Petey Wack during COVID. Big homie on the hood. Oh, he yeah, OG, like he had to be at least 50, 55? Yeah, yeah. Petey Wack, up like 55, 56 on the yeah. hood. I was in the recovery. He told me I was in the neighborhood him like uh, seven, eight months. Oh, okay. On the hood. You, you get any good game from him? For sure, hell yeah. yeah. Did he know about your rapping skills? Yeah, he knew. Okay. <laughs> he knew, for sure. Yeah. So that was your first time to prison? Yup. Was you a little nervous when you hit reception? I mean, not nervous, but like, you know, you got that feeling. Like, when you go into a new environment, like, you know, you got that little feeling on the hood. But not, not, I was like, ready. I've been jailing forever, so it's just like, on the hood. Now, what's crazy is when you're in the county jail, you squabbing with all the enemies. Yeah. But when you got to the penitentiary. Yeah, when you get to prison, it ain't like that. How'd you feel about that? When they, I'm sure PD Wack. I was already, like, been hearing stories. Like I said, I've been had older brothers that been doing this shit. So they've been in prison, they've been already telling me how it's going to go. So I was already, like, prepared for it. I already, already knew. Uh, hood. Like once I get up here, I already knew what time it was gonna be on. Now, have you heard stories where people from your hood and people from the other hood become not just friends, but they can get tight inside the penitentiary? Yeah, for sure. I was tight with some enemies in there. Oh, okay. Yo, yeah. That's how that should go. Your worst enemy gonna be your best friend. There. So then, why come back on the streets and still maintain that same animosity? Because that certain individual don't on the that certain individual. That's just that individual. He can't, you know, get everybody on the type of time he on. Everybody ain't been to prison, so it's different when you go to prison. Yeah. If you go to prison, then you understand. Okay. So it's the niggas that's out here that never been in prison. That's forever on some, you know, on some street shit. Okay. Now I heard you um, on a rant the other the, the other night on, on, your, on your live. <laughs> you was going off on your baby mama. <laughs> yeah. What, what was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> some little bullshit. You know that shit go B M B D drama. Yeah. But you said some pr some pretty harsh words. Uh, did anybody tell you hey you should delete that video? Uh. Yeah, I got a couple. I got a couple of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why'd you decide to not delete it? Cause I was, you know, when a nigga in that zone, nigga in that demon time, they're gonna give a fuck. You just doing it. This bitch so fucking foul, bro. <laughs> Westside Crip. Westside Forties on the dead homies, nigga. A bitch, this foul deserve to die, cuz. On the dead homies. This bitch deserve death. This bitch deserve a slow fucking death on the dead homies. This bitch don't deserve nothing good in life but to fucking die and 
on the dead homies, bro. Just bitch don't deserve nothing, cuz. Crip game. Uh, yeah. Do you, you want to clear anything up about that? Yeah, that's yeah. my that's my CM though. No, you know they. If you from LA, you from the trenches, you from LA, you know how this shit go. Huh? With your BM, everybody on the dead homies. A lot of people go through that type of shit off camera. I'm just on the hood. I'm just joining it up, and I got a lot of eyes on me. So when that type of shit go, when I do that type of shit, it, it get go viral. But a lot of people, that's everybody know what that. Everybody know what's up. Have you talked to her since? Yeah, we got a son together. Yeah, but I mean, everything cool with y'all now? Yeah, it's regular. Regular, okay. Yeah, on the hood. Now I understood though, like damn, on the dead homie, nigga really got all these eyes. My kids should be doing certain shit like that. Nigga got to keep that type of shit off camera. Now you said you on you on pro on pro probation right now. I'm on parole. On parole right now. Yeah. What if your parole officer sees that video of you just going off? Shit, then he see it. Shit, they 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 got me on Instagram. Po, I'm sure they on the dead. They be watch, they be keeping up with me. Yeah. He ain't said nothing to me about it. Does the parole officer understand that you got a, a talent out here that's a little bit above the, the average rapper? Nah, yeah, he know. He know? Because some of these POs, they don't know nothing about rap. Nah, right? yeah, he know. He be watching all my shit. He be telling me all type of shit. Yeah, he okay. know. Now, let's talk about that rooftop freestyle you did. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of that, and when did you shoot that? Uh, Tiny Look Freestyle, part four. Uh, shit like uh, eight months ago, I think. And based on the way I could see downtown LA, was it somewhere around here? You was on the roof somewhere around here? No, it was like uh, downtown somewhere. I don't know, my cameraman found that spot. Oh, okay. I don't know, like downtown somewhere. Why the eyes keep popping on the net and they know they're not with it? <laughs> now they done started something, pulling up and spark on something, pulling out the markets, cousins fucking run and kill your cousin, nigga. I'm not going for nothing. Mini Mac just started blessing. They ain't even next what happened. I'm not giving any passes. I'm not capping, I don't even fuck with maggots. I do them niggas tragic. I let them niggas have it. I fuck around and slap them, fuck around and grab them by their neck and choke slam them. 51st Street dudes ain't got no slappers Fuck around and creep up on the front and back and back slap them And don't tell me where you from because it don't matter Now you spitting the bars in a real real unique style Your cadence sometimes speeds up Yeah And you, you, you're real rapid fire with it Yeah that's, that's my old flow right there That's the flow That's the flow I was using before I went to prison That's the flow that they be telling me Like go back to that flow So I just pulled it out the bag one more time And pulled that out But I don't like rapping like that no more I got a whole new flow okay. There a lot of people that stole my flows Told that and ran off with it so I don't be rapping like that no more. I switched it up. No, I love that flow though. Yeah, a lot of people do. That's <laughs> why I brought it out. It went viral though. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you, you should definitely tap in with that flow from time yeah. to time. Yeah, from time to time <laughs> yeah. type shit. But yeah, I don't want to just get boxed in with that flow no more. Okay, so I had um I had 600 over in my studio. Yeah. And he said, I asked him who, who was some of your artists. And he mentioned you. Yeah. So are you, are, is that, and, and but a lot of people say 600 just be talking some crazy stuff <laughs> is is he are you his artist right now and talk about that i just signed x4 you know uh shout out x4 to mac lord he from 40s the hottest thing in la and uh with him same thing you know he's more in the music than me so i kind of just you know let him do him and whatever he need whatever resources i got we're gonna bring it together and make it happen well the internet can make certain shit seem like 600 really a cool nigga on the dead homies in person on the dead homies so yeah, I've been fucking with 600. He been, he been, he been giving me his resources on the dead homie. 600, man, 600 locked in. Okay. 600, uh, good advisor. Give me his resources for sure. Hell yeah. Have you been keeping up with a lot of the back and forth between some, some of the dudes from his own neighborhood? What you mean? Him, him, um, well, there's these videos where, where they're yeah. going back and forth. It's, it's either Cowboy, uh, Big U. It's just, it's a lot. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even pay attention to that type of shit. Okay. I just be on the dead homie. I just doing what I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there, th th he mentioned or someone mentioned that there's talks or conversations with Cash Money West. Yeah. Is that something that has been presented to you yet? Yeah, you know, I've been uh, talking to WAC. I've been fucking with WAC. We've been talking. It ain't no like contract been signed yet or nothing like that, but yeah, we've been talking. WAC fuck with me. Okay. On gang. WAC fuck with me. Yeah, the other day he um he, he posted you on his Instagram. Uh, yeah. Talk about, why did he post you? What was that all about? Shit, I don't know. I just woke up to that shit. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, and the dead, I'm, I woke up to a Reddit, I'm like, on gang. But yeah, when we was in the studio, we were just vibing though. You liked my style, you know. You gave me some good advice. You fuck with me. Okay. You got some shit, probably. You know, it works. Ahead, probably. Got to keep working. Okay. Well, now I interviewed uh, two, two, two guys. Six hundred was one. Uh, S Bone was another one, and they both said that X Four was one of their favorite rappers. Mm. Uh, rest in peace to S Bone. He mentioned you in, in an interview I did last year. Um, but the Fodies actually got a handful of other rappers too. Yeah. Um, Dodie, uh, T.O., Gang Shiesty. Yeah, we got a lot of rappers. Yeah. Uh, are, are you? A boy. The, are you guys a group or everybody solo? Nah, everybody be, everybody solo. But the homie Dodie, Dodie and T.O., 
they in the, they was in the cell together. They be making their shit together, but they not no group though. But they be making a lot of shit together on Hood Freedom. Hey, I'm gonna give you an idea. Get four dudes from Fodies and have a side group that y'all do songs with. A side group. A side group. Yeah, like Ice Cube. He was solo, <laughs> but he had West Side Connection with Dub C. Yeah. And um, and Mac Ten. Yeah. Uh, so four dudes from Fodies. <laughs> when I see that, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, they, they did that. <laughs> <laughs> Get your percentage. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what's the next step with you in terms of your music and 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 600 guiding you through this? Oh uh, shit, nigga trying to go all the way. Nigga trying to be up there on uh, top niggas. Yeah, homie, nigga already looking that way though. I'm already getting shit rolling, got shit in motion. Okay, so let's talk about. Uh, you say you got all this, these tattoos and enemies whacked out. Yeah. They said that one of the biggest problems for for Crip Mac. Yeah. is because he had a lot of whacked out tattoos and, yeah. and it kind of holding him back. Yeah. How do you think it's going to imp impact you? But I'm, I'm, I don't know. That's him. I'm different, though. I'm different. That's him. I don't know. Do you think if, if somebody from your camp that's managing you said, let's just get a couple tattoos removed, would you do it just to push no. your career? Because nobody's not going to say that. They're not going to come at me like that. I'm not even the type of nigga that you're going to even come at like that and say remove your tattoos. You're going to go get out of weird law like that. Yeah. Hell, you ain't gonna come at me like that. Hell no. All right, well, let's talk about the tattoo. And plus, plus, you can't deny it. It don't matter what you got tattooed on your face. You can't deny it. If a nigga making hot shit, they gonna have to let me in. Yeah. It don't matter what you got. You can't. Deny it. That's how I go. Nah, for real. Let's talk about um, the first time you tatted on, on your face and, and what made you make that move. Uh, I got the uh, Rolly crown. I know I got the Rolly crown on my face. I already knew I was gonna get my whole face hit, but I was just like taking it slow. But once I already got in the air, I was just like, fuck it. I'm in here already. Let me just do it. Okay. And, and from that very first tattoo to where we're at today, it looks like this one is the newest one over yeah, there. Yeah, I just got this shit hit, cuz. I just got this shit re hit last night, cuz, by Goblin, cuz. Tap in with cuz for the tats on uh, Goblin. Okay. <laughs> and you must get some crazy reactions when you gotta walk into certain businesses and offices and certain places that you don't normally go? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. But then, sometimes it be just normal. When I'm in the trenches, it be normal. But like, when I'm in like white neighborhoods and shit, they be like looking. On the hood, but like some bitches like it. They're on the hood. Yeah. Um. Uh, right where we're at right now, this is normal. Yeah. Even yeah. though the homies over. Oh, you, you got a couple. Yeah. He got. Yeah. Oh, you got. Yeah. A couple. They got. I got. Yeah. He got a couple. Yeah. Yeah. He, got he, he finna. He, he playing with it right now. Though. He be finna go crazy though. <laughs> he yeah. finna go crazy. Hey, do you think you guys would ever go as far as him? Yeah. 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 Cuh, cuh is. <laughs> right Already know it's coming. <laughs> For sure. Okay. But the white people sometimes be giving you looks, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, um, tell me what the, the hood they gonna, uh, they gonna They gonna get used to this face, though. Then they gonna be like, they gonna, they gonna warm up to it more. So, it's gonna oh, be, yeah. Yeah. oh, you said, oh, I'm gonna go back to what you said. Uh, a lot of chicks like it. Yeah, hell yeah. But it's a lot, it be a lot of them hood chicks, though. Like, nah, bitches that got shit rolling, too. Bitches that got on the dead homies. You fuck with hood rats? Not no more, cuz. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was just telling the homies, no more average bitches on the hood. I got all top tier bitches now, bitches that got shit rolling, crit. Now tell me, did the top tier chicks fuck with the face tattoos? Hell yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. Okay, th that would be surprising to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> shit, they, do they fuck with nigga, the, who, uh, the other rappers that got their face tatted? That's up there, Uzi and all these other niggas? I don't, I don't know if they got top tier chicks on their side though. Who? Give me an example of, of someone that, that got top tier. He got, he with JT, she not top tier? Southside 808. Maybe. Snoo? Southside 808. Producer, he a tattoo on his face. Everybody got a lot of people. Would, would you fuck with Sexy Red? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. Shit, I can go right there to right there to that. I can go right there and find Sexy Red. Go across the street and find Sexy Red. Yeah. She just on the dead on me. Hell no. She just got the bag. That's it. She bumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um,. Let's talk about uh, this, this neighborhood here. I'm glad that we pulled up in the neighborhood because I like doing, I love doing, people miss my street interviews because I do sometimes in the studio, but now we, we, out, we outside, man. And uh, what's, what's the neighborhood mean to you? What this neighborhood mean to me? Yeah. Shit, everything is all I know. Uh, it's all over my face. It's where I grew up at. It's all I know. Uh, it mean a lot. And the only reason why we're standing right here in this alley is because we needed some shade. Let the people know. What, yeah. We're in LA in October, but what is the weather like right now? This shit hot as a bitch, huh? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I got on this sweatsuit. I thought it was gonna, I didn't know it was gonna be this hot. I'm like, Damn, homie, this hot as a bitch. Yeah, we in the uh, we in the middle of October. Middle of October, cuz. And it's like either it's like 90 to 100 degrees right now, so. Uh, Damn, homies. We had to find a patch of shade. For sure. And, and primarily because my camera's overheat, not because we we um 
we scared of the sunlight. I don't want my cameras overheating. Yeah, I'm up. Okay, so um, a lot of people want to know about the hoods, geography. It's very unique. Let me see if I got it right. Dark Park Western Ave. Yeah. And we're on the... Uh, I guess technically we're on the park side. We're in the park right here. No, nah, this the dark. This the dark. Yeah. Okay. This the dark. Okay. Um, here, this the dark. This the D. King of RK on the uh, dark issue. Park a little bit more that way. And a lot of people say that the dark is the grimiest part of the hood. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. That's what. They, that's what I'm hearing. OSD. Original scale is dark. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with all the hoods that used to be there before, like Dirty Old Man, We Don't Care? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not my era, but I, yeah. I heard about it, though, from, like, on the hood, older homies, on the dead homies. I'm familiar with that shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they extinct already. You know what? I, I saw some WDC graffiti not too far a few WDC? days ago. WDC? What yeah. the fuck is that? that? That used to be on the dark. They used to be. They used to write Dark Side, We Don't Care, Crib. Oh, I think I, I, think I heard about this. I think I heard, yeah, I think, yeah, that shit bumped. But I, yeah, I just saw some graffiti about a, a week ago, but yeah. it wasn't over here. It was a little bit more down by Slauson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I heard about that shit. Yeah, that shit bump. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I, when's the next? Are you? Get, is there any more space on your face for more tattoos? Uh, I'm dark? thinking about my nose. Ah. Or probably my eyelids. I don't know. I'll probably get Trophy Gang right here. I'm probably finna start some shit on I'm finna get some shit rolling. Trophy Gang, merch on the hood, some trophy shit. Now, trophy Gang. Have you asked about what I don't it, know though. What is it what is it I know you asked how does it feel like to get tatted on the eyelid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know so I know a couple people got it. They said that shit don't hurt. The face really don't hurt at all though. That shit don't hurt. But this hurt it though. I got this shit picked cuz Which one is that one? It's that double F. I got to re-hit though since I've been out, but originally I got to pick cuz that shit hurt it bad. Now the double F is right on the middle of the forehead on yeah. the bone though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All yeah, right, yeah. so um what, what do you do out here on a on a regular day? Shit it out the way, shit. Rapping, chilling, doing player shit, shooting videos, rapping, doing this. Out the way, I got anchor monitor on. I'll be chilling. Um, how long do you have to wear that ankle monitor? Uh to probably next year. Okay. Let's talk about the restrictions that this the the people gave you. Yeah. What can what can you not do? Uh be with my homies. <laughs> certain shit, you know the regular. Certain shit, be with my homies. Can't be hanging out in a hub, really like that. Regular shit. So do they actually, Keep this motherfucker charged. Did they give you a, a writing, a sheet that's written that says all you, what you can do? Uh, I think they did or some shit in the beginning. I don't know. Didn't I probably lost that shit. But Didn't they tell you verbally though. Yeah. I just heard that. Once they said that, I, I, that's already stuck with me. All right, I, don't, I ain't even finna violate me. Now when they say homies, they specifically <laughs> talking about other forties. Yeah. You could be with a crip from the other side of town, and they can't violate. And it, you. De it, it depends though if it's like it's an asshole though, cause you know, some 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 will catch you with your homies and probably get your pass. Like all right, just get up out of here and you'll be straight. But if he has, so you gonna take it. And was this a condition of the early re early COVID release? Huh? The when you when you got released early because of COVID, is this connected to that or something? Nah, that's just how I go. Yeah, you know, that's just how I go when you're pro. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's how I go. And I I guess um. Um. No no drug test though. They don't. Nah, hell no. I be smoking weed like a motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, they don't drug test me. I ain't got no drug case, so uh, I'm not a smoker. I don't know, I ain't no druggie or nothing, so I ain't got no reason to drug test me. <laughs> okay, so um, what's next though? Uh, music and videos in terms of uh, what you're gonna drop? Yeah, music, man. I got some shit with uh, HBK Jachi coming. I got some shit called Join It Up coming. Some shit called Loose Leaf. Hell yeah, I got uh, some shit. Collab with Desto Dub coming on gang. Awful lot of trophies on gang. I got all type of shit that works. Uh, and, Some and shit with Phoenix, we gonna shoot that video. And uh, any any future collabs that you would like that you haven't done yet? Who who would you like to connect with? Uh, shit, I really worked with everybody already that I already want to work with. I already got a song with Rambo already, Ralphie, Jachi, uh. Shit, I already got a song like all the top niggas already. Again. Have you ever done a song with the blood? Phoenix. Have I ever done a song? Yeah, I got a song with uh, King Most Wanted. He from Dilma Heights. IE Blood. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're waiting on that LA Blood collab, huh? Nah. What LA Blood? What LA Blood I can do a song with that uh, we don't beef with? Well, there's a bunch of Inglewood Bloods. We beef with Bloods and Inglewood. Okay. 
My Frosty, my boy, though. That's really my boy. Frosty the Gerb Man. That's my boy, though. Oh, that would be dope. That's really my boy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get that Frosty. You know my boy. I'll call him right now. Let's let's get that Frosty and x Fo collab. You bitch ass make a better answer, too. <laughs> Let him know that you're, um, you're recording so he know. Nah, yeah, he gonna know. We got x Fo's calling uh, Frosty the Sun Man, a.k.a. Frosty the Gerb. Oh, shit, I'm calling the wrong nigga. I'm calling you. Hold on. Bitch ass nigga answer. He just bailed out too. He just bailed out. Oh, okay. But you guys haven't done anything together yet? Nah, we ain't did nothing yet. Have That's my boy though. Have, have I talked talk to Kyle on a daily. Have you talked about doing something together though? Yeah, we did. Okay. But we probably, you know, that shit, we probably can't release it though. We was to do a type of shit that's gonna be like for us to listen to. You know how that, that shit come with a lot of politics and shit. Yeah. That's my boy though. We, we, we know what's going on, we understand. But I'm sure 600... He be giving me a lot of advice and shit like that. 600 ain't tripping on that, and I'm sure he can get the homies to understand this business. Nah. Right? It ain't about 600, just me, period. I'm just, you know, on the hood. But that's my image. Okay. Hey, find out if he's, if he's waiting. If, if, can he still back out? Is he waiting? Do we need to move? He got room. Just tell him to turn nah, the yeah, wheel. Yeah, that shit's small. He got room. That yeah, shit tell, tell him just to turn the wheel. That little bunk-ass car. Probably want me to heat up. Okay, let's wait, let's wait for this car to pass here. Huh? Let's wait for this car to pass. Now, I, was, I was watching the video where uh, the guy said that one of your brothers uh, is resting in peace? Yeah, my big brother, Mova. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dante. His name Dante Mosley. Anything you can say about him? Shit, I was like two years old when he died, so I don't really know too much about him, like outside of like, you know what the family tell me, you know, again. And he was from the uh, right here, Hoover, Five Deuce, or? He's from 7-4. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So you got a lot of people wanting to interview you now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You getting calls from, uh, how many interviews have you done? Uh, I, I did the star quality interview. I just did an interview yesterday with the innovator. This one, I got the no jumper interview coming up. Shit, I got some other shit coming up. Lupe want me to go to. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got all type of little shit like that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you feel? Finna about go up, uh, shoot some shit with uh, Desto Dub tonight. How do you feel about uh, the, the attention you're getting and people want to reach out? It's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah it's cool. Okay. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Uh. And now the, here's the issue that I always have. I've interviewed hundreds of dudes. Yeah. But then after a certain point, when when their career gets going, and they out there doing their thing. I don't thought this was frosting. Um, a lot of dudes end up. Uh, they go, they go Hollywood, as I call it. Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, two, two, three years from now, can I hit you up and get another interview? Yeah. Because you're gonna be up probably, you know, at that time. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Um, what are some things? I ain't one of them niggas, bro. That's going on the dead homies. That shit ain't gonna, that shit ain't gonna change me. I'm be the same nigga. On the dead homies, they can give me all the money. I'm still gonna find my way to the hood. I can be famous as a bitch. I'ma still find my way to the hood. I was never gonna switch up on my niggas. I'm gonna always be the same nigga, with the fame, with the money, whatever. Uh, Who are some of the rappers that that um from the land that you you like that you mess with? From the hood. Not just the the whole the whole the whole land. Anyone in particular that uh that I like? Yeah. Like that like that I be listening to and shit. Yeah. Uh. Influential anything. Uh, I be listening to Rimbo. I listen to One Take J. I listen to Ralphie. Um, gang, I listen to Phoenix. I listen to myself a lot. Did you ever get to uh, do anything with Nipsey before he left? Nah, nah, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got a chance to do nothing with Nip. I seen Nip like one time. I was young. I was with Dummy C Star on the hood. I seen Nip at the Slauson, pulling off in his Benz. C Star was like, "Look, I go Nip." Nah, look, that was the only time I seen him. I was in the county jail when Nip died. That shit was sick. Oh, what was it like when, uh, when when the county jail got the news? Shit, that shit was crazy. Everybody was in there like, that shit was sick. That shit was crazy. Immediately people thought it was the enemy? Uh, No, not really. Well, I didn't. We didn't. We knew. We knew. Like, right there, we like, man, hell no. Anybody finna get up on Nip, like, right there. We knew it had to be, like, some some shit like that off the dribble. If you know, you know. If you from L.A., you would know. Like, hell no. Anybody finna get up right there on Nip, no ops. Hell no. So, so then you were there when um, they brought they brought Eric Holder into the county. 
Uh, no, nah, I was in the IE County when this happened. Oh. I got transferred. I got transferred like a couple months later. I got transferred like five months later. Okay. Yeah, when that shit had happened on the hood. Man, that shit little, bro. And the, man, we weird ass nigga. This nigga weirdo. Yeah, a little ass car. You got a bitch ass about it. All right, so, so they transfer you? Yeah, well, so when that shit happened with Nip, like five months later. Like five, no, like when that shit happened with Nip, like five months later, cause I got ad charge on the hood for a case in LA. So they transferred me to LA County. And then that's when I got like, you know, the feeler. How shit was in LA County, how niggas felt about it. Hell yeah, niggas was sick in there. But hell no, I was, they not going, they didn't put him with us though. Nah, he you know, was high he, power. Yeah, he was with some other shit. What, 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 um, what floor were you on in the county? Uh, I done been all through that motherfucker. 600 flow on the dead homies, 800 flow. I don't care. All through that motherfucker. But when I, when they, when I, when I, uh, when they had charged me and I came back for that case, I was on the 800 flow. Okay. I was on uh, A17. And, um, was that an active section? Yeah, hell yeah, cuz we was up in there squabbling on the hood, programming. Dead yeah, homies, homies. It was some ops in there. It was some homies in there too, though. It was like equal. How could, if people want to tap in with your music, where, where could they find you at? Uh, Apple Music, uh, uh, Spotify, all platforms, YouTube, SoundCloud. Now, even uh, though you're known as XFO, uh, your name is Explosive? Yeah, that's my hood name. Talk, talk about how you got that name. Uh, shit, my brothers. My brothers is Explosive. Yeah. But. Damn. Stupid ass bitch. Nigga should have. Nigga caught some homegirls for that bitch. <laughs> Weird ass bitch. Yeah. Um, uh, you were saying where, um, where everybody can find your music. Let's, let's go through that again. Yeah. Yeah, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, all that. Okay. And what about what about our social medias? Uh, Instagram at X for the Mac Lord. X the number four T H E M A C L O R D. X for the Mac Lord. And, and did you add the Mac Lord to your name, or has that always been a part of your hood? Name? Nah, that's just something like the fans start like calling me type shit on gang, and that come from like a lot of people. A lot of people don't know that come from like cause Johnny Rose. Ma'am, 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 I'm, 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 I can't have this conversation on this, on this camera. Who is they? Y'all can go conversation. They just told you that, they told you that they're not going to touch it already. Okay. Ma'am, okay. you, you said it four times. I'm recording. Google Expo and Google, Google, hey, Google Expo and Google the Street TV. This the hood, though. This the hood. We're going to record right here, bitch. All right, don't, don't take it to the next level. Just go inside your house. Just go inside the house. We just told you we're not going to touch it. But if you take it to the next level, we're going to do more than touch it. So just go in the house, please. You like that? You toxic, huh? You toxic. What's your Instagram? <laughs> she starts smiling when I said that. She like you. You look kind of good, too. She, she like you. Hey, you like, you she like, toxic. Hey, do you she like, toxic. I know a toxic when I see one. You like Mexican girls? Shit, hell yeah. <laughs> Mexican bitches got that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I think she wants you. Yeah, you seen her? She like that shit. She starts smiling as soon as I said that. Yeah. She talk, She like that shit. Man. Told you, bitches be liking that shit when you get out of a certain way. Bitches be liking that shit. Square bitches on the deal. I'm telling you, bitches that be having shit rolling, you'd be surprised what type of bitches like this. Yeah, she Googling you right now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right, um, you were explaining the Mac Lord part of your name. Yeah, that just came from like, oh yeah, like I said, that came from like on the dead homies. A lot of people don't know that that came from uh, Johnny Rose, because a lot of people was calling, he, he was calling himself a uh, dirt god on gang. So people was like on hood when I was making music, me and Johnny Rose like making music around the same time. So they was like, and I used to always rap about like Mac, having Max, bitches like for Mac around, or Mac, and I used to always talk about the Mac. So they, he was calling himself Dirt God, so they start commenting under my shit. You need to start calling yourself the Mac Lord. You Dirt God, you Mac Lord. So I just like took that and went with that. Like I started saying that shit a lot. So I'm like, ooh, all right, I'm gonna run with that. Right. So it just became the Mac Lord. So free Johnny Rose. Free Johnny Rose. That, that medallion is dope because you got the trophy in the middle. Yeah. Uh, explain to the people that are watching this. I'm the trophy, cause I already got that shit rolling. Uh, but, but, but people watching this from across the world don't know what trophy means for the hood. That mean like you a joint, cuz. That mean like you top tier, like you a nigga, cuz. Mm -hmm. Like you really like him. On the dead, um, it's but like that's, you that's trophied up. That's a floaty up. thing, though. That's like a, no, that's like a, you know, it's like a, it's like a, anybody can be, that's like anybody thing. Okay. But like, you know, when you see the trophy, like I really was like, you know, the one that was like really like pressing that, like trophied up. I was the first one using that term, trophied up. That's me on the dead homies. Trophied up, the trophy. 
I don't care if I was the one using that emoji a lot. Now a lot of niggas getting that shit tatted. A lot of people getting it on their shirts for hood days and all that. I don't care. Okay, so I just went to jail for four years. Everybody acting like they forgot, just like they stole my flow. They stole a lot of shit I was doing on the dead homies. But you know, it's cool. I'm back now. Now they know. Now, do you feel like those, those four years kind of set you back in terms of where you're at with your career? I mean, no. Everything happened for a reason. In the hood, because I got out rolling. I got out, got a song of Rambo. It's a lot of people that don't got a song of Rambo, and that's why they gonna never get a song of Rambo. On game. I got out first song, band with Rambo. Bam, shit with Ralphie. In the hood. Dropping my own hot shit. Me and Chink booming. So shit, it happened, I happened. Got out videos, I started taking it serious. I got out more smarter, so, you know, everything, he put me through that for a reason. God put me through that for a reason. Now, Had to set me down, the, got me smart. What did you learn from the big homie from the 60s you was in the cell with? Oh, a lot, you know, and the dead homie's patience, you know, just, you know, just a lot of shit. He told me a lot of shit on okay. game. P.D. Wack is a good nigga, and, uh, he told me a lot of shit. And he started this Rich Rollin' shit. <laughs> Oh, he, he, uh, he broke that history down for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. P.D. Wax started this rich rolling shit, cuh. If you know, you know. Yeah, actually, I just asked um, I asked OG Ron Ron that question the other day. Yeah. And um, I forget what his answer was. Yeah, man. P.D. Wax, cuz. On the hood, he got a lot of history. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's big, bro. Um, which, which prisons have you um, been, been to? Uh, just Solid Dad. I was in Solid Dad. I was in Wasco. That's it. Wasco Reception? Yeah, Wasco Reception. Okay. Then Solid Dad. On the hood. Solid at an old prison, huh? Yeah, solid at an old prison, cuz. On the hood. There's a lot of lokes up there. Yeah. From both sides, Damos and Crips. There's a lot of lokes up there. What, what, did, what did it look like? Oh. In terms of it being so old, what did, what did it look like inside? inside? It, was, it was cool. Nigga, keep it clean. You know, that's, that's where nigga, a lot of niggas got life there, so a lot of you know, niggas gonna keep where they gotta live clean. So that shit was cool inside. Now, what is it like during the summers and the winters? When it, is it Hot as a bitch and then cold as a bitch. <laughs> What do, you, what, do you, what do you do during the summer times in prison to keep... Shit, you got to have a, a fan. You got a good bitch that can carry you, you know, order you a package, put that fan on there. You no, had a fan in there blowing. No AC in that prison. Hell no. Yeah. Unless you like, nigga, probably out of state or something. And uh, then in the winter time, what do you do? Shit, get some blankets, get some extra blankets. You got a nigga that's working down there on the hood, get you some blankets. Get you like two, three blankets. <laughs> You spody. Uh, what did the temperatures drop to, if you remember? I don't remember temperatures and shit. I just know it's cold and I just know it's hot. Yeah, but it ain't like just being here huh? in L.A. The, the temperatures, is, is uh, the coldness, it gets a little colder than it, it do here. Yeah, for winter. sure. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah solid that, yeah. Okay. Do you, uh, you got a cool P.O. or is he tripping? Nah, cuz, spody. Okay. So yeah. we got a lot of future to, uh, to, to see in you then. Yeah. Stand, you stand yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm moving smart, so yeah, the way I've been moving now, I should be off this shit. They see I'm really taking this shit serious. They see they see what's going on. You know, they probably in their office talking. They see what's going on, so they should be letting me off this shit soon. Hopefully, they start looking at me like an artist. Okay. You think you might get that extra uh, extra love to get it off sooner? Probably. Okay. Hopefully. So they know we're here right now, huh? Shit, GPS on, hell yeah. Yeah. They know where, I, they know where I'm at. Shit, as long as I got this motherfucker on. And how does it work? Can, can, can he just... Call LAPD. Uh, what is it? Uh, Southwest Division and say, hey, uh, I got a dude over there, Expo. He's in the alley right there. Um, go check on him. Can they? Can they do that? Or how does it work? Hell yeah, but they better not do that. You don't even want to speak that to existence. <laughs> Hell no, that nigga better not do that. But he could do that. But he's not gonna do that. Okay, but that that ain't happened to you. Huh? Has that, has anything happened? Yeah, to you? since I've been out, I got three violations. But yeah. Well, how did how did they violate you using the monitor? Do they do they violate you based on where they see you at or? You know, just all type of violations. Hanging with your homies, being around certain type of shit, you're not supposed to be around, different type of shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, um, let, the, let the people know um, some, some final words from Expo to Maclow. Uh, for neighbor, <laughs> trophy gang, trophy gang coming soon, merch on gang, new music coming soon, dead homies. Uh, uh, score gang, cub, free baby RS, on oh, gang, uh, free X3, uh, uh, free tiny foots. Yeah. Hey, you know, you, you're one of the younger younger guys I've interviewed lately, but I had to tap in with you because yeah. you're, you're, um, I know you want to come up. Yeah, for and sure. You, and you're doing big things. Yeah. Um, you probably like, what, 21, 22? Uh, 23. 23, okay. They keep, everybody keeps telling me I'm finna be the face of LA, but I ain't, I don't pay attention to that title. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Uh, I appreciate you letting me pull up. Yeah, for sure.
and um, I wish you all the success, man. Yeah. I'm in love with that rooftop yeah. freestyle. Yeah. I'm gonna I was go talking back. crazy. I was talking crazy. <laughs> hey, you was talking a little crazy. Yeah, I was talking crazy. Do you, do you see... Do you see yourself doing the same sort of dissing in the music, or are you trying to? Nah, I don't really like be dissing. I be like, sir, I be like saying like subliminals and yeah, shit they, now. Yeah, hey, I, hey, I ain't even from yeah. none of these hoods, and I know all those subliminal dissing. Yeah, things. I didn't got smart on them now. I don't say like none of the. I just like say subliminals now, cause yeah. and it'd be better that way though. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, have you and Crip Mac ever did, did anything together? Nah, me and Crip Mac ain't never did nothing. Okay, you guys got anything planned? You both, y'all both neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, shit, but that don't just make that don't just mean nothing. Yeah. Yeah, because of Cuz, I don't I'm familiar with Cuz shit, but nah, we ain't talked about doing nothing or nothing. I don't hurt. Cuz body though. Not necessarily rapping, but just, I don't know, some skits or uh, nah, some yeah. videos or yeah. some content. He fuck with 600 heavy though, he be with 600 and shit on the dead homie. 600 be with Cuz on the hood, but me and we ain't talked about doing nothing. Okay. You know? What about this whole thing? He in a different lane, you know, you doing what he doing. doing. What do you think about the the content creation lane? Is that something that you Hell interested yeah. in? Hell yeah, 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 I've been, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to get get that shit out there more. That's how you get yourself out there more. Yeah, like, do I just don't want to do, like, little weird ass shit. I'm not going to be cloud chasing, trying to, like, do weird ass shit, trying to get a gang of views. I'm on the dead homies. Okay. And for everybody that um, saw your your rant, is that the same chick? Is it the same person? What up, girl? Same chick that flew through yeah, man. They be want to be seen because they see some famous scripts and they be trying to do a lot. Okay. They're they trying to holler. They see some famous scripts and that's the type of shit they do, cuz. That's the shit that come with this shit, though. Bitches doing that, cuz. Yeah. Nah, that was a little... Toxic shit, though. That's toxic shit. Yeah, that was definitely toxic. Yeah, you trying to pull up to... You pulling up to the block. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, so, um... Look at it. Um, last thing I want to ask you is let all the people know that everything is cool between you and your baby mama. A lot of people saw that. With, with just... Just, uh... Resolve that for the people that saw that. I mean, yeah, cause everybody know how that shit go in the dead homies. When you got a when you got a kid with somebody, y'all gonna always have to like deal with each other like on the dead homies for the kid's sake, like on the dead homies. Everybody know how that shit go. But like we don't we not in a relationship, but that's my baby mama. That was a moment. You can't judge a moment off like what it really is. That's my CM, it's straight, but we not in a relationship though, but we good. We got a son. How was your how was your son? Plus, my CM really did a lot for me on the day. I mean, she fighting the case right now for me. So on the day, I mean, that's my CM, but we not in a relationship. Is she trying to be in a relationship, or are both y'all cool with that? No, she cool with it. She doing, she doing, she doing, she doing. Okay. Getting her, she doing, she doing. How old is your son? Uh, finna be four months. Oh, man. Yeah. Brand new kid. Yeah. Brand new kid. Do you get to spend some time with him? Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Uh... Anything else? My son, my son named Trophy too. Is that you named your son Trophy? Yeah, my son named Trophy. Wow. Yeah, I'm not. He the only nigga with that name. How you spell it? Like Trophy. T R O P H Y. Okay. I thought you was gonna use the F. Snow is this? Snow is that? He got it. Yeah, bro. It's the hooker, bro. What the fuck, man? Ain't gotta explain nothing to nobody. Come on, bro. Bro, this the hood, bro. We're almost done. Out. So, so you spelled it T-R-O-P-H-Y. P-H-Y, yeah. How come not T-R-O-F-Y? Cuz, bro, that's my son, bro. He ain't got a, oh, okay. I don't even touch him to this gang shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, you know. I ain't even trying to box myself in with that type of shit. You know, I'm on some other shit. That's why a nigga rapping, doing other shit. Nigga doing player shit. Nigga on some other shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from over here. That's already, that's already. I don't got to box myself in with that, though. They already know that. Nigga trying to get rich now. Come back and buy up shit over here. And and from time to time you gotta go and support your son and, and I guess slide a few dollars to the baby mama, huh? I mean, yeah, you know, tell you, you know, I ain't no dad, but you know, I'll get him what he need, pampers and shit, clothes, shit like that, jewelry. What's the chances of you and her um getting back together? You know, we don't be talking about that, we ain't be thinking about that. You know, I'm in my lane doing what I'm doing, she doing, she doing, you know. We just we got a kid together. We straight, it's all love. Okay. Yeah. It's my right. CM. She know what's up. That's my CM. All right, anything, anything le left that you want to say that I didn't get to ask? Uh, shit. You touched, you touched up everything, shit. Have you been able to uh, travel and, and rap in other cities, perform yet? Uh, nah. Nah, I'm really not supposed to be outside of L.A. County. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'll still be, like, without, really, I'm not supposed to be outside of L.A. County uh, more than two days. Uh, nah, uh. So when you're off parole, is that something you... That yeah, you hell yeah, when I'm off parole, I'm New York, Atlanta, Houston, I'm 
all type of places on the day, homie. Can't you tell your PO that this is work related and I can make some money if I can go to Atlanta? Yeah, I could, but they probably gonna be on some bullshit because it's me. Because it's me, cuz. They really, I'm telling you, cuz. They really on the dead homies, bro. They gonna, uh, they gonna make it hard for me to get off this shit. Yeah. On the hood. All right, X-Flo, I, I, mean, I need to come back and tap in with you another time, man. This was, yeah. uh, this was a great little first, first interview. Yeah, for sure. Uh, X-Flo to Maclo, man. The trophy, trophy gang. The trophy. All right, we out. Gang. Okay.